Next up, can I come over and play? Is it okay if I come over sometime to play with Spotter? Of course it's okay. I think he'd be really happy to see you. We can't have a dog because we don't have a garden. But I want one so bad. You can't have another animal, like. Like? Like a guppy. The dinky as anything. Uh, what's a guppy? It's a tropical fish. They're tiny, but their tails are exceptionally pretty. Oh, yeah. You have guppies at home, don't you, Ade? I'd have to check if we're allowed to have fish. But thanks. I'll ask Mum when I get home. Does anyone else have any pets? Oh, Rick keeps cats. I do. They fight sometimes, but they're usually well behaved. Ooh, I'd love to meet them sometime! <laughs> I bet they take one look at him and try to bite him. What? On second thoughts, I'm not sure I'd like to meet these horrid beasts. I don't think they'd bite you. Do you have many cats? What are the names? We've got two, Clef and Libretto. Libretto's still settling in. Nice names. Of course you'd name them with musical names. Cute! Libretto's not all that friendly, is he? Is the new cat scared of you? Not really. He's just a bit shy right now. We have to get him used to people. Having a cat would be cool too. Well, once you decide on a pet, then Shrinking Panther ambidextrous. A panther? I don't know if Sam wants a panther. Oh, sorry, predictive text. As I was writing that, Spotter jumped up and started licking my face. Spotter just loves you too much. Animals are awesome! I'd love to have a hamster or something like that! Nice idea. They're so small and cute. I really love budgies. Oh, do you have one? I do. When I get home, he always shouts out to me, Welcome home, Sky! Cool! Can you hold a proper conversation with him? He's a chatty little birdie, all right. I bet those birds are much cleverer than they let on. You think so? I wouldn't be surprised if Birdie were a secret spy. He's always listening in. As nice as your family are, Sky, I don't think they'd be worth spying on. I have a few words I'd like to teach this budgie. What would you teach him? Well, I would have to start with Sacred Serpent White Wyvern, if it's in his capacity to remember all of that. I think you'd better not get your hopes up. What pet would you have, JP? Me? Let's see. A dinosaur! Um... I wonder if I could just take one home with us? You... really want a dinosaur as a pet? Mm, you're right. I guess it would be hard to feed something so big. Maybe I'll just have to give up on that dream. I think food isn't the biggest problem in this scenario. Next. Emergency! Reply needed! Can someone please remind me which chapters will be on the maths test? Huh? What test is this? I don't know about any tests, like. That teacher wipes things from the board way too soon. I can't keep up. Oh, I know the one. Yeah, taking notes from her stuff's proper tough. So, Kaiser, what's in the test, like? I don't know. That's exactly why I'm asking. All right, mate. No need to get all ragy. Rick, when we get back, can I check your workbook, please? No problem. It's from page 175. I'll pretend I didn't see it. Danke. You really should just do your homework, Ade. It's good to be diligent about these things. It'll serve you well later in life. By the way, how'd that test turn out for you guys? Meh, I did okay. There were quite a few really tricky parts. I peeked at Roma's test and burst out laughing! You said you wouldn't talk about it, Sean! Did you forget to write your name or something? Most of his answers were correct, but he'd written them down in the wrong place, the daft whelk! It's a common mistake. What are your lessons like? Hmm, nothing special, but there was the time the teacher picked on Ito last week. Oh yeah, I forgot about that! He was sweating buckets. It's true, he was! 
I couldn't help but laugh. Ah, JP! You've said enough, don't you think? Only me? All three of you! But it's all true! It was the only question I hadn't prepared, I swear! That's sure. You did a good job of solving it on the spot, though. Ha! Good on you, I saw! If you're having any difficulty with the lessons, I can try to help you out. Like I said, that was a one-off case. You just need to make learning fun, and then it all becomes easy. Ahem! <coughs> You may not realize, but in addition to my managerial skills, I also happen to be an ace teacher. Those who want to join my super duper extra special classes, say so now. Why the silence? Next up is a bit of a Thunder Flash exclusive. This one's all about Bylong, so if you're playing Wildfire, this will of course be about Soul instead. Since Bylong's joined us, why don't we hold a welcome party for him? We can fit plenty of people in our Windsor Manor flats. I'm well up for that! Sounds great! Count me in! Don't bother, really. You know you want one. You do! I got permission from Auntie Sylvia already. That was quick. <laughs> There's no backing up now, Bylong. Sounds like fun! <laughs> don't suppose I can. You might as well go. Lone Wolf Victor Blade is telling me to be social. Ha! Think of it as training to get to know your team better. Training, indeed. Understood. If you're going to treat me, who am I to refuse? Food's defo on the menu, re. There will be food. Bosh! I only ever go to parties for the food. Auntie Sylvia's cooking's the best. She's always happy to cook something up for us. I can't wait. Yes, that sounds acceptable. Goldie, are you ready? Oh, sorry, wrong one. What? Everything will be revealed when the time comes. Yee, it must be some stunt in secret if you can't even tell us. I wonder what they're up to. Will you be needing any assistance? Nope, you just stay there and look pretty. I'll handle this part. Excellent work, Jade. Now, follow my example. Wonderbot, you probably shouldn't butt in. Well, excuse me! Really, Wonderbot, it'll be fine. Just relax. Everyone, once we're back in our time, the party's getting started. Hurrah! Hurry! Can't wait. <laughs> I look forward to seeing all your reactions. I wonder what they're up to. That party wasn't bad. You have my gratitude. I had so much fun. Ain't no party like a Windsor Manor party. But the food was my favourite part. Bosh. Oh yeah, that food was purely belter. Especially that cake. It was excellent. I agree. Very delicious. Yeah, I admit, I was impressed. Hear yeah, that, guys? Our guest of honour liked it. I'm glad! We spent such a long time on it! And you made all those banners by yourselves? It was a little over the top, but we wanted to show him that we care. We put a lot of effort into them. Where on earth did you find all that paper? That's a secret. I love them bickies in the shape of Bailong's face. That was pretty funny, actually. If only it had tasted as good as I look. Bitter. I just love hanging out with everyone. It's always such fun. I think we can safely say the welcome party was a huge success. Yup. Right, Bylong? Huh? I'm saying it's great having you on the team. Ha! Yes, it certainly is. And now, introducing Inapix. As requested by Faye, I've made some Inapix for you to use in Inalink. Oh, you did it. Thank you. Inapix? Think of them as pictures you can just plop into the conversation. I should just show you this way. Wow! That is flipping amazing, Rosie! It's Arion! The girls got skills. I've made plenty more. Feel free to use them. Now Inalink is even more fun. 
If you happen to make any more, do add them, won't you? So, these Ina pics, if I just try posting one now... That one's Coach Shop! How did you know what he was like when he was in junior high? Miss Hill showed me a photo! Ah, I want to see! It looks just like him. You're really good at drawing, Rosie. Oh, I forgot to say, Coach Evans is in there too. Just how many did you make? Here's some for Victor, because he lost the striker showdown. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Victor. I don't have time for your dumb games. Hmm. What is it, Arion? Um, I just thought it might be nice if there was an inner pick of Spotter. What a splendid idea! If you have a photo of him, I could give it a go. Really? One of him as a puppy would be great. I'll give you a photo next time I see you. Great! Something like this. Squee! Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Spotter's just the cutest. You can't be good at all this drawing malarkey, you pet. It really looks like him. Thank you for making so many of these for us. No problem, I really enjoy making them. This one works great as a victory in a pick. Oh, is that Sol? It was a request from a friend. Since I went to the trouble of drawing it, I thought I might as well post it. We've got so many of them now. I reckon we could speak using notebook inner picks. Really? How? Hang on, Eugene, pass us your mobile a sec. Please? <laughs> Sob. Like this? What do you reckon? <laughs> that looks like fun. No. And now, the lost towel. Has anyone seen my towel? No, sorry. Could you have left it in the club room? I checked in there. Do you reckon it's been pinched? Why would they break in and then just nick his minging old towel? Oh, someone left a towel in the TM bus. It must be Victor's. Many thanks. It has Silky Nona from that video game, Magical Hat Trick, on it. I didn't know you were a fan. Magical what? No, that can't be mine. Oh, that might be mine. Oh, is it? You ought to be taking better care of your belongings, team. True. You wouldn't want to end up losing something at a different time period. Rumor, you left some kind of test papers in the bus. Oh, so that's where they went. Sorry, but I still can't find my towel. Has no one seen it at all? Nothing turned up, hmm? I've looked everywhere. It's like it grew legs and walked off. Is it worth checking the TM bus one more time? No need. Wonderbot does an inspection every day. He's very thorough. I'm afraid nothing's turned up since Rosie's. Perhaps you ought to throw in the towel. Roma, are you ever going to come and get your take-home test papers? Or would you prefer I just read out your score for all the world to see? No, don't do that! Someone dropped their house keys on the bus. I'm keeping them safe, so just let me know if they're yours. Oh, they might be mine. Can't it find me own keys either? Bosh, those must be mine, Gabby. Thanks for finding them. Um... Um, I only found one set of keys. I'll just bring them along later. You should do what I do and keep your keys in your wallet. But didn't you leave your wallet on that bench the other day? If you can't even keep track of your wallet, there's no hope for you. What? I don't remember that happening. Whose keys were they in the end? Mine. Mine were in me pocket. And mine. I guess I was a bit quick to doubt myself. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't even get in my own house. At least you didn't have to climb through a window or something. Sorry to bring this up again, but has no one at all seen my towel? It has blue stripes on it. Sorry, Victor! I accidentally took it home with me! Ah, that's a relief. It actually has his name sewn into it! Victor's always thinking of these things. He looks just like mine, but I really should have made sure first. I wonder if we should put our names on the TM bus too. 
If lost, return to Clark Von Wunderbar. That's not going to help at all. And now, we've got some tasty news. Did you know that there's a sale on right now? If you buy three cupcakes, you get one more for free. Bush. No. What's up, bro? Wan Chang just bought up the whole lot. Oh, he did, did he? You could build a house with all the cupcakes he bought. I only bought 30. 30? So how many were free? Buh, you know I'm not good at maths. Anyway, they're not all for me. I bought them so we could share. Buy three, get one free. So you actually got 40? Got any chunky ones, like? I want a lemon one. Oh? Ah, you have a banana one. In shape as well as flavour. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. It appears it was just an ordinary banana. This one's shaped like a V. I'll save it for you, virtuoso. Thank you, Rosie. That's very sweet of you. Literally. By the way, Wonderbot, what can I help you with? Isn't there a law against texting while you're getting through time? What if we miss a stoplight? Oh, you're right. I need to keep my eyes on the timeline. Are there any cupcakes left? There's one that's half croissant. It's called a crop cake. Oh, that's the one people were queuing down the road for. Hmm, nah, I'll pass. I thought you liked croissants. Croissants, yes. Mutant hybrids, not so much. I wish cake was as healthy as vegetables. What's wrong with vegetables? Salad dressing should make up for the flavor, no? I've not tried any cake from your era yet. I should try some when I can. I'll get some for you next time. Hey guys, write your favorite snacks and I'll try and get them. Cheers, man. I'd love me a proper authentic Cornish pasty if you can get your hands on one. Tried one the other day, like, but they'll never be as good as me mam's. Donuts. Simple and delicious. Just salt and vinegar crisps for me, please. If you could make me up some jam sandwiches, I'd be made up. Anything with chocolate for me! I'm not fussy! I'd love a banana crepe if it's not too much trouble. I forgot! Can I have a tuna pasta salad as well? That's a snack, right? I might want some cheesecake! I don't know if I could get all those things! I thought you'd just want sweets! Next up is Manager's Special Recipe. Us managers have made you all a special drink today. Come and get it. Yay, thanks! What does it have in it? Banana, honey and milk. So sweet, you'll feel instantly recharged. Bosh, I approve. Oh, and to boost your stamina, we added some garlic jelly as well. And some pickled eel. You did what? You should have mentioned that first. I think you should drink a glass of this stuff before you give it to us. Special drink time again! Get in! I love that stuff! It would have been fine as just a banana milkshake. Eel is great for stamina, you know. You've got to admit, it's a big step up from our old drink. If you insist... I'll pass. Alright, I'll give it a shot. So, how was it? My mum always said, if you can't say anything nice, just say bosh. Bleeding delicious! There you are, guys. Rusty approved. Look forward to the next one, yeah? Burr, I think you should just cut your losses. Hi, everyone. We made you some special rice balls today. Good old rice balls. You can't mess those up. All right! What weird ingredient did you fill them with this time? You'll have to wait and see. Ugh. Well, tell us what you got. Spinach. Phew. Mine had fried chicken. Pretty tasty. I had prawns! So that's why yours was a funny shape. Why is mine sweet? I demand an explanation. Oh, that could be the one we put sugar in. Why would you use sugar? When you're tired, your body craves sugar, right? We put loads of different things inside them. Who puts pineapple in a rice ball? 
Unlucky, Rick. Pineapple's good for the tummy. Maybe so, but this is just wrong. Do you put bacon in your cereal? Bah, didn't know eating could be such a gamble. You still managed to finish them all, though. Good job. Mine had banana in it! Could be worse. What are you on about? Banana goes great with anything! Plus, it's one of my five a day! Rusty, you're so positive. <laughs> Look at JP's face. <coughs> Mine just had a massive lump of lemon in it. Lemons are good for you too, in moderation. Mine had baked beans inside. That's strange. So did mine. And mine? Do you have any ordinary ones? Like, ones that don't have weird things inside? Take one and find out. They were kind of good then, but I reckon you should take requests next time. We'll listen, but we can't make any promises. I'd probs be okay with playing fish, to be honest. Be careful what you wish for.